What's going on everyone? This is Dom and today we are taking a look at the 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display and this isn't any normal MacBook Pro. This is what I like to call the dope edition because it's coated in a beautiful matte black D brand skin. More on that in a little bit but let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside of the box. Not too many surprises here but we will be comparing benchmarks from this model to the two other 15 inch MacBook configurations available later on in the video but first up we do have some user guides, we have our Apple stickers and a microfiber cloth to keep your Mac fresh. Next up you'll find an 85 watt power adapter that you can use to charge up the MacBook and right below that we have a nice little power extender cable that'll help you extend the length of that power adapter in case you need more space. Pulling off the plastic here in case you were curious this is the 2.5 gigahertz quad core model with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage and in case you want to check out the specs I'll leave those linked down below for you as well as a link to this dope matte black D brand skin but let's go ahead and open this thing up power it on and see what it has to offer and if you'd like to see a full review on the 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro go ahead and smash that like button and let me know what you'd like to see in the review down in the comment section. Apple has also slightly extended the battery life in this model and included the force touch trackpad which we've seen on previous releases so if you'd like to find out more about that I'll leave a link down below. Let's go ahead and jump into some benchmarks now and the first we are checking out is going to be Geekbench 3. Go ahead and and run that and as you can see here we have a single core score of 3678 and a multi-core score of 14,372. Jumping into Black Magic Disk Speed Test, we have write speeds well over 700 and read speeds from anywhere between 1200 and 1800 megabytes per second, which is insanely fast. Now moving along to Cinebench R15, we are going to be checking out the OpenGL score of that AMD Radeon Discrete Graphics in side of this bad boy and the CPU score and as you can see here we have an OpenGL score of 62.58 frames per second and a CPU score of 600 CB. As I mentioned I just so happened to have all three configurations of the 2015 MacBook Pro that Apple offers and decided to run a Geekbench test on all three to see the differences in the CPU performance and everything that you're getting between these price points. So as you can see here there are only minor differences separating the single core score and multi core score across all of Apple's 15 inch MacBook Pro models for 2015, only two to 300 points separating each category. Do you think it's worth the extra cash involved to get the performance and feature differences between these three models? Let me know with a comment down below. And if you'd like to find out pricing and availability, I will leave that linked in the description as well. But leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as it does help out the channel a lot. And subscribe if you're not already for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and I will catch you in the next video.